Hey, Trisha Martin here. So, you know, if, if you've watched any of my videos already, if not, this is the first one. If this is the first one, please subscribe and give me a like and stuff. That would be awesome. Thank you in advance, hopefully. Anyway, if you watch my other videos, you know that I put my art on stuff and sell it, like t-shirts and whatnot. I'm on, I do print on demand. One of the platforms I primarily put my stuff on is Redbubble, in addition to Merch by Amazon, but Redbubble is who I'm talking about today. There are a lot of ways you can get a copyright strike on your um, designs. If you're designing something, say you do a drawing of a Star Wars person or whatever, Star Wars, a stormtrooper or whatever, and Disney, and you use Disney in your keyword, oh no, you're done, you're, you're done. But Redbubble has a program, a partnership program, where you can you can design Rick and Morty designs, you can design all kinds of cool stuff. Evil Dead, Alfred Hitchcock, I've got two of those that have been approved and licensed to sell. I mean, there's just so many options that you can do. Now, of course, if you're going to do this, and I'll give you the links and explain it in a minute, but you want to read through every single person's guidelines, like Alfred Hitchcock, their people have a list of guidelines that you need to follow in order for them to be like, cool, we'll approve your design. Awesome. Make some stuff. Great. Evil Dead, they have their own, you know, their own guidelines. Rick and Morty, all of that. But let's go in here. I'm talking too much. Let's go in here and I'll show you all about that. Links are down below. Let's go. Welcome to my world. Oh crap. So here we are in my Redbubble profile. As you can see, I have a one achievement and it's fan artist. Now fan artist is someone who gets licensed as, or submits their designs to be approved by certain people or entities so that you can have a licensed design. Redbubble tends to be very lax on copyright infringement. Don't let that fool you or lull you into a false sense of security. Always do license designs if you're going to do something. So that's my advice anyway. Anyway, here's one of the designs I did. It's, um, if I won't be myself, who will? It's a quote by Alfred Hitchcock. This is one of two designs that I got approved of, approved for through the partnership program. So, and I will have a link down in the doobly-doo so you don't have to go searching for the, the page, the partner page. Um, anyway, here we are. So what you do is, you can go and explore the the brands that you want to do. Right. Let's see. Check out entire list of brands. Let's see. Here are the people who participate in the partnership program. You can do designs for Alfred Hitchcock, Back in the Future, Big Lebowski. It'll also tell you who's not currently accepting submissions. All of these things. And for spooky people, is Evil Dead still in here? They were in here. Oh, I'm not seeing it anymore. Damn. Missed that window. Totally designed for Evil Dead. Anyway, here are the people in the partner program that you can currently do. Rick and Morty used to be in there too, but I'm not seeing them anymore. Either way, a lot of cool people that you can design for without getting in trouble. I have read in the group, um, in some of the groups that I'm a member of, that some people have had difficulties with the partnership program. So far, I have not. Um, I guess it depends on who you, you know, decide to design for. Each person, each entity, whatever, has their submission guidelines, what uh, words they want you to use so that they can, you know, be alerted that you've made a design for submission. Um, it tells you what you can use, what you can't use. So you want to read these, just like reading terms of service or anything. Always do that first and you avoid getting in trouble later. And you. You know, so you got the do's, you got the don'ts, you know, and sometimes they even provide assets that you, you can use, download and incorporate the Alfred Hitchcock trademarks. So sometimes it can take anywhere from a week to a couple of months before you even hear back. And um, my confirmation email ended up going to my spam folder and it took me a long time to realize that I had even been approved. But um. Yeah, I had been approved a month before that. But either way, it's a great way to, you know, get get a name behind 
your designs. Um, you you want to be original. You don't want to just use their graphics out of the box. They don't want you doing that. Try to come up with something neat. You know, I mean, you pick pick someone that you really love and that you would have fun making this design for. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much um, the partnership program in, in, in a nutshell. So I hope it was useful to you. And if you guys may, you know, apply to the partnership program, let me know down below in the comments. Please like and subscribe so you can get more videos like this. Thank you. I appreciate all y'all. Bye.